I received a question about how to change the tab name on SSRS reports and the tab name is once you export your uh, SSRS report to say Excel when you open the spreadsheet at the bottom of the tab you will see a name and usually the default is say like sheet one just like you will see on a normal spreadsheet but you can customize that tab name to be the name of your report or the name of the subset of the report like the region or the project name and I will show you how to do that right now. Here we have our first tablix, tablix 1, which corresponds to dataset 1. And we have our tablix 2, which corresponds to dataset 2. And we're going to just preview this to see the default settings of tab names. We're going to go ahead and export it to Excel. And you'll see at the bottom left, the spreadsheet tab name is called Sheet 1. That's default, just like in a normal spreadsheet. And the second sheet and the second tab is called Sheet 2. So let's change that. Let's go back to Design View. Double click on Tablix 1. Click on View at the top and then Properties window. The properties window opens up and you'll see a field called page name. That's where you enter in what you want the tab to be called. For this example, I'm going to use tab one data. I'm going to go ahead and close the properties window. And you see if you only click once on the tablets, you click on view, click on properties window, you won't see that field page name. So make sure you double click or click twice on the tablets to bring up the correct properties window. Again, to see the properties window, click on view at the top left, click on properties window, the properties window box will appear and then you'll see the field called page name, not name, but page name, and that's where you enter it in. So let's do it for Tablix 2, we double clicked on it, click on view, click on properties window, go down to the field called page name, and that's where you enter in what you want the tab to be called. I'm going to close it, preview it, um, go ahead and export it to Excel so that we can test it out. And we see at the bottom left that now the tab is called Tab 1 Data, whereas before it was called Sheet 1. And the second tab is called Tab 2 Data, like we said, instead of Sheet 2. Now go back to the first tab. You see, look at row three and row five. You see how row four is missing? I explain why row four is missing. That is a that is a design error and I explain how to fix that in a video that I created called how to remove merge columns and I also explain how to get those second data sets in a video called SSRS second data sets and new tabs and I'll put both links down below. Thanks for watching.